everybody how are you doing hope you've been able to watch my video on hypothesis tests and today i'm going to talk about process capability and the values of cp and cpk and how are they different and how you can understand them with a very very basic simple example all right while of course you all know cp cpk and pp ppk are all about long term process capability and short term process capability so let's now understand about the cp value and the cpk value and how they are different so i'll tell you this with an example imagine you have a big boat and you're trying to you know take it maneuver it between a river and there you have your banks your uh, left bank and your right bank which is basically your lower specification limit and your upper specification limit so if the banks of the river are very close to each other and you have a big fat boat there is no way you're going to be able to navigate between that which basically means if you have a process with very high variation and you are you know trying to fit it between the specification limits as you know given by the voice of the customer it's not going to be possible so that is an instance where your cp is less than 1 your boat is too big to fit within the banks of the river second instance where your boat is not so fat now it is come down in size it can almost exactly fit in between the two banks of the river so your ship or boat is able to navigate quite okay not very easily though because if it moves a little this side or that side then yeah there may be a problem so it is just able to go between the banks of the river your cp is equal to 1 in this case and the third case is where your variation is pretty less in the process you're well within the specification limits as this uh described by the customer or depicted by the customer and that means your boat is quite small and you're able to easily navigate between the banks of the river which is your lower and upper specification limit so now we talk about cp only with terms of variation only in terms of variation as you all know the formula itself is upper specification limit minus lower specification limit divided by 6 into standard deviation so obviously we are not talking anywhere about the mean now comes the cpk so your happy ship can or boat can easily go inside the river between the banks of the river because it's small but what if it was being piloted by a guy who is drunk a drunken pilot what is the problem you will face the ship may not always go in the center of the river it may tend to go this side or that side and then what happens it will hit the bank it may go outside the bank also here is where we are talking about average so cpk brings the average into the picture So now if your CP and CPK are equal that means your boat is small and being driven by a sober pilot so it is going to go happily between the banks of the river and not meeting with any accident but the moment you see that the CPK value has started becoming lesser than CP that means the pilot has started having two or three tequila shots he's trying to go in the center but it is pulling towards one side away from the center the moment cpk value becomes zero it means he's now five pegs down or five shots down he's hit the bank he's gone and hit the bank that means your process has either touched the lower specification limit or the upper specification limit the average or mean is now equal to the specification limits and therefore your process is at the edge and the moment he's had seven pegs or seven shots of tequila maybe he's gone totally outside the specification limits which is indicated by cpk so even if your cp is good your boat is small CPK determines whether you're going to stay centered or are you going to go off center. 
So that is the difference between CP and CPK. And as you all know, in the CPK formula, mean comes into the picture where you decide basis CPU or CPL, whichever is better or lower, that will be the CPK. Great. So I'll catch you with more interesting and fun videos. Until then, adios, amigos.